Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys a very different one. This is actually all farming related. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to loot from 250 seed packs. Using 92 spirit seeds that took me many years to save up on my main account, Mr. No Sleep, and 158 spirit seeds on the alternate account, Wendy's, I decided that this would be the way that I would obtain 250 seed packs. You know, 250 spirit seeds equals 250 packs, and that is just one way to obtain these packs. You can actually get a seed pack for completing a farming contract. I would imagine this is how most people do obtain these packs over time. You know, each farming contract has a difficulty from tier 1 to tier 5. For example, tier 1 contracts represent short, easy contracts. You know, growing potatoes, something like that. And tier 5 contracts that would be something like growing a magic tree. So the tier of each contract, all of that is listed on Guildmaster Jane's page. That's the NPC where you get contracts from and also seed packs from. And according to the wiki, because I'm basically going to be quoting from it many times this video, uh, there's up to one to five tiers of contracts. And as it goes for the rewards, there's low, medium, and high. And I think depending on which tier of contract you do, this could determine the potential for, you know, which reward you get. I would imagine Imagine, you know, the lower tier farming contract, the lower rewards you're going to get, the lower tier seeds. But for this video, I did nothing related to farming contracts. I'm even a little embarrassed to admit I've never even done a single farming contract. I got 99 farming back in 2015, so it's been a long time for me since I've done it uh, post-99, and my Iron Man kind of stopped doing it a while ago as well. But luckily, we are done talking about those contracts, because for this video, we use spirit seeds. So let's go ahead and get into spirit seeds, and especially, let's get into these seed packs. Talk about the potential from them, all of the loot that you can get from them, just how useful these things can be for Ironman accounts. What you're looking at on screen here is actually the process for opening up all of these seed packs. Usually it's just smart to bring four in your inventory at one time, maybe even sometimes three. And at this point, you just spam click the seed pack until all the seeds have been opened up from it. And then you move on to the next one. They are side by side. And then you just bank all the seeds. I imagine you can bring a seed box too, but I mean, if you just use the farming guild bank, it's really easy to bank all this stuff. And as seen in the beginning of the video, when you're purchasing them, you do have to run back and forth to the bank because these packs are unable to be noted and stackable. You know, they are each uh, different packs containing different seeds, different amounts, so they are never going to be one and the same. This was released into the game January 10th, 2019, and the ability to actually exchange spirit seeds, spirit seedlings, as well as saplings for tier 5 seed packs was added added to the game on an update from September 23rd, 2020. So it's just a few weeks ago. I meant to do this video, but I was out of town, so when I got back, I completely forgot, and here I am. Apologies for being late. There was also an update on June 18th, where opening seed packs will no longer stop players from running or walking, so that's nice for, you know, efficient people out there. And on February 7th, 2019, there was a graphical update to this seed pack. I, I imagine it didn't used to look like this. I'm not too sure what it used to look like. And finally, the last update on January 17th, 2019, the name changed from Seed Box to Seed Pack, and I imagine that's because they are now two different things. Just some fun facts for you guys today. In regards to the rewards, the low seed rewards that you can get from these seed packs, because there is so many different seeds in this game, as you can just see in the bank there, filling up a whole bank tab almost. These low tier seeds are basically anything from potato all the way up to bell Belladonna. I believe the most expensive low seed reward would definitely have to be either the Belladonna or the Harlander. These are two reliable things that I believe would sell, so other than that, everything else is almost going to be worth nothing. You'll actually see at the very end of the video that when all the seeds were sold on both accounts, a lot of these seeds are 1 GP, and they don't even sell for that. So in other words, I think the only place for them is the ground. And then of course we have the medium seed rewards, and I think there's 19 different seeds from this one, 19 or 20, and almost all of them are actually worth keeping. I think the least valuable ones would be the uh, potato cactus, the poison ivy, and the wild blood seeds. However, for you Iron Man accounts, definitely keep all of those. Uh, you can really, really use potato cactus seeds, especially uh, snape grass seeds as well, which are also on the medium seed table. But I won't lie to you guys, the real money in this video comes from the high seed rewards, and as we are dwindling down to the 
the very last few seed packs to open here on Mr. No Sleep. We will then price check everything, show the rune light tab so that we know everything is to be accurate, and then of course price check it in game. Because although rune light is usually 100% accurate, I did notice there were some irregularities with the price check this time around, so I'll definitely show you guys what I mean here in a little bit. But the high seed rewards as shown in this picture here, you know, you're starting with the papaya and you can go all the way up to the dragon fruit tree seed as well as getting magic seeds, torstals, U seeds, snapdragon. I mean, the best of the best is truly in the high seed rewards. And if you're opening the high packs, then you'll definitely encounter the two untradeable seeds, those being Hispori and Spirit Seed. Although this is a Spirit Seed video, I have not done a Hispori loot video. I've actually never killed the boss even one time. I do know that you can only kill it uh, every 24 hours. Last time I checked, there was someone in the game who's killed it 547 times, so if there's someone who can do that, I think I can go ahead and try to kill 100. It just might take a while. Okay, here we are. So we finished opening up 92 packs, and from those 92 packs, as shown on Rune Light, it looks like we got 458 rolls on the Spirit Seed seed packs. Rounding down, according to Rune Light, uh, we have 7 mil made, 43 Snapdragon, 7 Dragon Fruit Tree Seeds. I'm sure you guys can see the rest here. If you need to pause it, feel free, but you know, we still have a whole nother account and a lot more seed packs to open, and of course, uh, price check over there. But yeah, overall, it seems uh, on Rune Light, 7 million from all of these packs. But let's just make sure that everything is accurate and price check it in game just to compare the two numbers, see if uh, everything is on point. And I guess we can get a little bit more of an accurate uh, representation of all these seeds. So 6.9 mil from the first price check, and then we'll move on to the second one, these being the lower tier. 550k from all of those. And then one last price check, uh, this just being the leftover, the scraps as we call them. Another 25k from that. So although Rune Light did show just about 7 mil, uh, as you can see there again, uh, clearly we did make just over 400k more. Now that's certainly not a big deal to me. Uh, it's not that big of a difference, but you know, once we sell everything in the Grand Exchange, I guess we'll truly know the real number, but I try to make these videos as accurate as I can for you guys. I hate when I slip up on even the slightest thing. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that maybe Rune Light looks at the uh, price differently. And what you're seeing here is now, you know, my friend doing his part with all of his spirit seeds. He's, I think, 40 mil farming XP and I'm close to 30 mil. So we did have a long time to stack up these seeds and neither one of us does birdhouse runs or anything uh, which is newer to the farming skill, even contracts. I don't think he does those either. So we obtained all these, I think, just through bird nests and a lot of PVMing. So it took a long time, but it's really cool to get a video out there all about spirit seeds. Who would have thought? Now, as shown on screen here, looking at the bank tab and then the rune light tab, this is what I was trying to explain to you guys earlier. So you see how there's 24 dragon fruit tree seeds in the bank, but there's only 21 on rune light. There's also five magic seeds on rune light, but six in the bank, among many other seeds. 13 more Calquat instead of what's shown in the bank. So I'm not too sure what's going on with that. Maybe he was clicking too fast. Maybe different seeds just got accounted for differently. I really don't know. If anyone knows anything that's going on related to this, make sure to leave a comment below. Either way, let's go ahead and do the price check on this account. From the very first one, all the most expensive things comes out to be 12.7 mil. We'll round it up to 12.8. From 158 spirit seeds on this account, we ended up with 609 rolls on the seed packs. Now we have the second price check, and this is uh, the lower grade seeds, but still worth collecting nevertheless. So we got just about 300k from that rounding down and there's only one price check left. I think the only things worthwhile in this one are the papaya tree seeds. So everything from this one coming out to be 200k uh, so 12.8 mil plus 300k plus 200k comes out to 13.3 million from 609 rolls, 158 packs. Combined with the loot on Mr. No Sleep which was 7 mil it looks like overall we made 20 point three mil from 250 spirit seed trade-ins over 1,000 rolls on the seed packs and nothing but pure profit this is great for iron men accounts you get really useful seeds a lot of variety of seeds so if you need anything irregular maybe for a quest or for a potion or something like that you'll definitely experience a lot of variety on these packs overall selling them to you know figure out the overall number on both accounts is, is pretty important so that we know roughly if rune light or the game 
same prices or more accurate. Again, maybe there's just a simple bug that I'm not noticing. But either way, we ended up with 13.1 mil rounded up on the alternate account. And that is kind of strange because RuneLight did show 11.5 mil. So we did make a couple mil more than what RuneLight was showing. All the seeds in the inventory here are currently valued at nothing. So it's not really worth uh, to sell for one GP if they can't even sell. So yeah, 13.1 mil rounded up by 7k on this account. And then we'll go on Mr. No Sleep real quickly. I'll skip to the uh, part where we just collect all the cash because you guys have sat through a lot of grand exchange clips now. And you can kind of see that we have 7.3 mil there. So 13.1 plus 7.3 comes out to be 20.4 million from 250 seed packs. All obtained by Spirit Seeds, none of which were obtained by contracts. Well, that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out these seed packs. Definitely worth looking into if you're into the farming skill. And I will see you guys later on with another video. And until next time, thank you for everything. Mr. No Sleep, out.